So the Browns have a, a number of people that are due for extensions. You have Wyatt Teller, Nick Chubb, of course, Baker Mayfield, Denzel Ward. Now, those two have the fifth-year option, so they're uh, a little bit further down the line. Which of those do you think gets done first? Do you think any of them get done this offseason since the Browns do have some salary cap available to, uh, to, to potentially do one of those or two of those extensions? Yeah, I think, like you said, with those fifth-year options being taken, I think that you know, you got you to gotta figure out if you want to keep Nick Chubb and Wyatt Teller, Teller here, you have to figure out those extensions first. Um, I honestly think that Nick Chubb probably gets the look first because as much as, you know, running backs get – they get the the brunt of the work and they don't, you know, they don't get to stay around in the league as long because the kinds of hits they're taking and the, and the wear and tear on them. Uh, but Nick Chubb is something special. Uh, I think obviously you could get a running back that gives you maybe 70, 80% of what Nick Chubb is. Um, but are you willing to take that fall off uh, and that, that step down from what Nick Chubb is able to offer. I think that he's a very, very special talent. He think that he is arguably if, and I, and I say definitively, I think is the best running back in the NFL right now. And I don't think that that's a gamble that you want to, you want to take, especially with a, a dominant run game and being able to mix up the, the offense, the way that the Browns are able to do. And, you know, Kareem Hunt is incredible in his own right. Uh, but I think that's what makes that backfield so special and makes the Browns offense uh, so incredibly explosive is the fact that you have him there behind Nick Chubb and those you have those paired up in the backfield and you have the option to give Nick Chubb less snaps and, and less touches and keep his wear and tear on the minimal because, I mean, that's what keeps him available long term to you. You don't risk all those injuries. And I think having Kareem Hunt there is really special, too. So I do think that Nick Chubb. If they're going to uh, really focus on that run game and and keep that offense the way that it's been running from last season, I think Nick Chubb gets the extension um, first. And then depending on how Andrew Barry works things out, we know that he's kind of a wizard with <laughs> how he builds these contracts and with the, with the salary cap hits and, and he can work things out like that. Depending on how he's able to maneuver these things, you might see multiple players getting extensions and he's talked too about getting them done early, seeing the players, identifying the players with the talent that they want to keep going and then offering, giving them the extensions early on. I think Nick Chubb is one of those players that should be identified as that kind of talent. Um, and then, yes, if you can, if you can make the money work, you can get that contract extension. I think Wyatt Teller is a huge piece and he also deserves that extension because that run game is nowhere near as efficient without him on the field. We saw it. He's a top rated guard in the NFL. That's not an, again, another talent you don't want to lose. So it all comes down to money. Obviously they don't have, <laughs> if it was endless money and it didn't come down to salary caps, you would extend everybody, but that's not how it works. So I, I could see something where it's Nick Chubb first, maybe Wyatt Teller, if you could work it out. And then depending on how this defense goes, this with all these new pieces and parts, uh, Denzel Ward got his fifth year option. Will they continue? Will they will they add on years to that? Will they extend him? Will they offer him more? We're going to see him long term. That's also on the table. Depend that could change depending on how this offense or this defense uh, plays out this season and and how we see them perform with with all these new pieces and parts and see how Joe Woods makes them work.